Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and it's time for another episode of League Talks. League Talks is a show where you guys can submit me questions by sending me a private message on YouTube, labeling the subject as League Talks, and asking me a question, anything about LOL. Um, today, we are going to go ahead and cover a few of those. The game in the background is from a stream not too long ago. It's just a little ARAM game, um, streaming with some subscribers, so go ahead and enjoy that while I answer some questions. My first question coming in today asks, what is your best advice for going up against a champion that you've never seen or played against before in lane, um, especially in blind pick? Um, they've played a game not too long ago where an RE mid came and beat them as a twisted fate. Um, they've never watched uh, people play her, so they weren't sure what they were getting to. Um, what is one thing I would recommend um, if you've never seen a champion's kit or you're just not familiar with it because you either don't see them too often or because you just never played a role in a certain position and then you finally are getting up against some champions you never see. Um, the first thing I would say is you need to play safe and you need to see them use their abilities and see what they kind of do um, before you try to fight them. Uh, I would also just try to watch more games or maybe watch build videos of mine where it's a champion you've never played and you've maybe seen them once or twice, you're just not sure what they do. And it, not even that you want to watch them, but you maybe just want to know what they do. And those those videos will help you with, you know, seeing what that champion does, whether or not you want to play that champion. It'll just kind of help you counter them. You can think about it the opposite way. So um, you really want to see what their skills do and, like, if they have a good range. Um, just play a lot safer early and kind of farm. Try to out-farm them. That will more so put you ahead. If they're being really aggressive, you got to probably try to ask for a gank, but still just play safe. Give yourself some room. Try to just farm it out and just get off a um, little bit of poke that you can depending on who your champion is. So um, I know a lot of champions in mid, let's say you're um, Cassidy, like he's got to play really safe early against certain um, ranged mid uh, carries because Kasten doesn't have the strongest early early game he's got a little bit of poke but he's kind of a, a little bit weaker just before six before he gets his rift walk so there's just little things you need to feel out with those champions but the, the best advice off the bat is play a little bit safe give yourself a little extra room and just try not to feed them because if you feed them and you're still not sure what their kit is it's gonna get even worse as that game continues so just give them some space and just try to farm my next question coming in today asks, um, or kind of states, that they started playing some ranked games and have played about 30, and they have ended up in Bronze 4. Everyone is supposedly constantly trolling. They play support, but they blame me when I uh, do anything, and uh, ignoring them won't do anything. So my question to you is, how do I get better than I am now? Well... Uh, I play a very small amount of ranked. Some people, uh, I don't really play that much ranked if you do not know. Um, I don't really care to play that much ranked. I don't think the system is really set up very well. Um, but overall, if you continue to play lots and lots of ranked, that's who the ranked scene rewards the most, is players who play it lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Because overall, it should move you up or move you down, and that should really reflect your skill level a little bit. Now, I know that there are issues with that, and I do agree. I've, I've had some ridiculously trolly matches in ranked play, and uh, it, it, you don't really get out of those issues until you're in, like, platinum and diamond. So, even in gold, there's lots of trolling. So, because it really doesn't take too much to get into that spot. So, as I've always said to a lot of people, rank really doesn't matter until you're way up at the top. So, there's just a lot of garbage in between down towards the bottom, even in the middle, and even towards where you're starting to get into better players, there's still lots of trolling. So it's just something you have to deal with. One thing I do to avoid that trolling, that's why I don't play ranked. That's how I avoid it. There's some trolling in normals, yes, but kids are usually a little more relaxed, not so uptight about things. So um, there's just a lot of weird behavior in ranked. I think kids think it's the end of the world when something kind of bad happens. Um, and they think the game's immediately over if, if they didn't get first blood. But that's so inaccurate, I cannot explain how, how inaccurate that is. The best thing I would suggest if you're in ranked and you're having kind of trolley players or people not getting along, which then leads to trolling, the best thing I can say is be positive because that will change a team's attitude tremendously. Um, I've done this a few times um, or I've kind of, I don't want to say told people off, I don't yell at people in chat um, early to you know get them to do certain things but uh, a couple kids were fighting over a position in champion select and they were both just kind of you know kind of yelling at each other back and forth and I commented something like neither of you sound tough in typing it's the internet we don't care so that kind of was like oh we do kind of sound like jackasses yelling back and forth at each other 
So one of them was like, okay, I guess I'll blah, blah, blah. And like that helped. We, you know, then the other person kind of apologized and then we played a game and we won, you know. So, but going into that game, if somebody would have troll picked into it and then we would have had two tops or something with no support, then we probably would have lost. So just try to stay positive and just try to remind people like, hey, it's just a game. Just play it. Have some fun. Or, you know, that's the one nice thing about the roles that I play if I ever do ranked is I go, I'll play any role. I specifically try to get either jungle or AD carry most of the time because I play those most of the time. But, I mean, I can play anything fine. So, luckily, if, if, we, if I need to really support because two kids are having a huge problem, I'll support if I really have to. But you just need to stay positive, and those will definitely help you out and move up. Um, another thing I have noticed is a lot of people have been uh, that I've seen move up that I know are very positive people they help the team they are very nice in chat and very aware when they are playing so like they, they'll, they'll call their Mia's really well to make sure they ping they'll try to say oh I'll try to come help you in mid in a second or like hey blah, like just teamwork stuff so it's it's just a lot of nice teamwork try to be friendly that it really does go a long way and it does help teams win because if uh, if you're all not quite getting along and then you try to go team fight but like half of you show up and you're all kind of disorganized it just reflects from your attitudes it's it's kind of weird so i've been seeing this happen a lot more so if you're talkative or if you're just you know being polite it, it'll really go a long way to help you in the long run so those are just some small tips i know i know it doesn't really affect your play style but it really goes a long way because this is a team game and you need to play it as a team to win games my next question coming in is kind of a question I got a long time ago, but I'll go ahead and do it again. What's your favorite top laners or the ones you would recommend to new players? Um, this is always something I always say. If you are new to League of Legends and you do play top, or if you're just new in general and you're not really worried about where you're playing a champion because you're still learning, play Garen. Garen is a great top laner. A lot of people think that he's garbage because he's too easy or whatever. It's not really super easy. If you play him well, yes, he, he isn't really that difficult. But um, he's got a really basic kit, so it's very easy to counter it if you just want to stay away from it. But Garen does a lot of damage. He can speed himself up. He can kind of shield himself. He does a good amount of damage. You can build him tanky and still do lots of damage because of his ultimate. Garen's just a really fun champion to play as your first um, champion in the game. You just feel like you can contribute because you can either tank, you can do damage, you can do both of those things because he does that well if you build him tanky. So Garen is one of the top laners I would highly recommend. One of my favorite top laners, I don't play him all the time, but one of my favorites is Fiora. I think she's really fun and she does counter a few champions. If they do have a lot of stuns though, that will shut her down um, really quick. But if you go up against a top laner that doesn't have too much crowd control, then you can really do a lot of damage early because she does tons of it fast. So um, she does a lot of explosive damage. So I like Fiora in the top lane. Um, Jax is also really fun. I usually jungle him, but he's a good top laner as well. Riven's another fun one up there too, who's not too complicated. You pretty much can just smash buttons and deal tons of damage since she does a little too much most of the time. But um, those are champions I would suggest. But like I said, Garen is a great starting point for anybody who is newer to the game. Pretty simple stuff, works really well, and it feels really rewarding too whenever you get kills with him. So definitely would recommend Garen. My next question today is asking about runes and masteries. If you are not level 20 or 30 or something, they say, does it make a big difference if you use runes or not? Um, yes, it does, but it doesn't. One thing I will say, and I think I've said this before, is don't buy runes or try not to buy runes until you are able to buy tier 3 runes, which I believe is at level 20. That's when you're able to buy them. It really doesn't take that long to get to level 20 if you do play through a little bit. Um, so try to wait to get tier 3 runes. Those are going to be the best ones. If you buy tier 2 and 1 runes, probably isn't the end of the world, but you're going to eventually not use them because you're going to want tier 3 runes because they are better. So um, they're helpful if, to have them, but it's not the end of the world. It'll just be a little bit easier once you get those runes and masteries uh, once you are level 20. So I would definitely recommend trying to wait to get tier 3 runes. As for masteries, I mean, put the points in that you have into the correct slots you want. Uh, if I mean, if you don't have all of them because you're not level 30, that's fine. Just put them into most of the tree and just keep slowly working your way down to the points that you want. So luckily not as much of a big deal, but just put your points in, still use them, and keep making uh, mastery pages. So... That is, is something you definitely need to do. But the one main thing is I, I bought a few runes when I was level, well, like early levels because a couple people recommended to get them and then they realized as they were saying that, they're like, oh wait, you're not level blah, blah, blah because all of them were. And I was like, no. And so they're like, oh wait, hold off. Don't buy any till 20. 
because you want tier three runes. Those are going to be the best ones you use, and those are going to be the ones you're going to just use the rest of the time you play the game. So the old runes, you'll just never, ever touch them again. So buy tier three runes, nothing else most of the time. My next question coming in today is a fairly good one that no one has asked, I don't think. They ask, do you feel that bot games are a good way to learn new champions? Um, I always take someone I'm not familiar with and play against them against the AI, but it's not the same as playing against real people. But I'm afraid if I do terrible, then I'll get reported if I play against real people. Um, I, I completely agree, and I actually used to do this a little bit. If I do not know a champion at all, or if I'm brand new to them, or if they're just a brand new champion, I will recommend playing them against AI first. It's a very, very good way just to learn their kit and see how the champion feels, how they last hit, how they just cast their abilities, so you don't do that in a real game. And you, I mean, because you can screw it up for a team um, trying to play and win, even if you're just in blind pick. Um, it's just going to be tough uh, if you've never played that champion before, especially if you come up against somebody who has played their champion a million times and you're up against them and they know exactly what they're doing. So... Um, it is hard for some people to counter newer champions, like brand new one release champions, just because nobody's quite sure what that champion does. But if you are new to a champion, I would suggest playing them either with friends first, um, in like a custom game, or maybe in an ARAM is a decent place to learn, as, uh, because it's, it's a little less um, intense, a little more laid back, and you get to spam your skills, so you get to really see what they do. But... Yeah, playing them against the AI is very helpful for learning them. I will agree it's not the same as playing against real people, but you'll at least get a feel out the kit. And the, and the bots do fight back. They have been getting better and better as they've patched them and added new ones. So, But definitely play them against AI if you're really not too sure of what they do and, you're, and you really don't want to feed or get reported because that is a bad way to, to I don't want to say guarantee a loss. But, I mean, it's not going to be helpful to go into a match not knowing anything about that champion, not knowing what you should buy at all with that champion, not knowing what their abilities are, what to max out at all. So go play a game with them in, in a AI um, versus co-op. That's going to definitely help you out a lot more in the long run. So, yeah, it's a very smart idea to do that. That's going to be all the questions I'm going to cover today for League Talks. Like I said, if you have any questions for a future episode, you can go ahead and send those to me by sending me a private message on YouTube labeling the subject as League Talks. But other than that, I'll just see all of you guys in the next video.